so guys I'm going to teach you all how to make this basic body lotion for beginners. So for those of you that want to learn how to make body lotion, I'll be teaching you how I made this body lotion from scratch. Yeah, guys, this is not promising and this is not hiding of recipe. I'm going to teach you the recipe, show you the recipe, everything from scratch to finish. So make sure to glue to your tv or glue to your phone glue to your laptop and make sure to watch this video from starting to the end this is a basic lotion that anybody and everybody can formulate so make sure to subscribe turn on the notification bell leave your comment below after watching this video and you still don't understand anything come back and ask me questions so make sure to subscribe see you guys See you guys. that you need to formulate a body lotion as a beginner yeah guys these are the basic things that you will be needing to formulate your own body lotion as a beginner so you don't go you don't go and be thinking about how i need that i need that i need that or you don't have much money or you don't have much uh tools you don't have much materials to formulate your own body lotion so guys the first thing that you will be needing is your distilled water you have to work with a distilled water not any water from the tap not uh, any mineral water make sure to work with distilled water and the second thing that you will be needing is your wax and steric acid which i have here so because when you want to make a lotion body lotion contains water and um, water and oils yeah guys body lotion contains water and oils and this wax and steric acid helps to bind the water and and oils together because normally water and oil can never be combined together so this is the wax and the steric acid that helps to bring the water and the waxes the water and the oils together so this is the first thing that you must purchase if you want to start making your own body lotion or if you want to start selling or you want to start making for you and your family so the first thing you have to purchase is this this is what brings the water and the oils together and another thing again you must have your ph tester because you must make sure to test your product to you know the ph balance of your product so that you don't go uh so that you don't go and irritate your skin you don't go and burn your skin by using harsh ingredients or by using ingredients that has a higher ph level every body lotion is supposed to be between 5.5 from 4 to 5.5 ph level so you need your ph tester so and the next thing you will be needing is your hand mixer so this is what you use to um, mix your oils and your water together yeah this is what you use to mix it so that they can all combine they can all combine together so and the other thing you will be needing also you will need your spray yeah guys you need your spray because you have to make sure that you spray your working areas you spray your tools before working so i believe you're watching the little video below besides this video now there's a, there's a little video here up here you can see that i am actually spraying my working tools so you have to make sure to spray your working tools before you start measuring out your all in, the ingredients that you'll be using you have to make sure that you have sprayed your tables your spoon everything that you'll be working with so this is alcohol this is isopropyl alcohol this is what you use to spray your working tools clean them and before you start formulating 
so the next thing that you will be needing is your oils so i have my shea butter i have my coconut oils and here i have my orange oil so you can choose any oil of your choice that you want to work with so for most people that have dried skin yeah for those people that have dried skin and shea butter and coconut oil goes very well when it comes to um when it comes to people that have dry skin so if you have dried skin i advise you to always use shea butter and coconut oil in all your formulations so and i have my powders here so you can pick any powders of your choice to work with and we have so many powders in the market is depending what you want to formulate what you are formulating if you are formulating a body lotion for a light skin person for a, uh, a dark skin person for a chocolate skin person we have different type of powders so here i have my giga white powder so actually i'm formulating a normal basic lotion for any type of skin color even a light skin person can use this body lotion and even a dark skin person can also use this body lotion so this is a basic body lotion for black and light skin person for a beginner so this is um, giga white powder this is a brightening powder that helps to brighten up your skin it helps to glow up your skin it helps to target uh, spot it helps to target acne it helps to fight wrinkles and fine lines so and here i have my nacinamide powder this is called vitamin b3 powder this helps to brighten up your skin it helps to lighten up your skin it helps to face dark spots melasma and give you this glowing and youthful skin so here i have my alianton powder so what alianton powder does to our skin alianton powder helps to uh, sort irritations yeah for those of you that have sensitive skin if you have sensitive skin i'll advise you to always use alanthum powder in all your formulations because it will help with irritation it will help to stop irritation and it will help to add in moisture to your skin it will lock in moisture to your skin giving your skin a beautiful and glowy skin so these are the three powders that i will be using to making this um this body lotion this is a basic body lotion for all skin type even babies can also use this body lotion so and i'll be adding my vitamin e powder yeah vitamin e is serving as our antioxidant so if you have the oil form of vitamin e i will advise you to also use the oil form but i have the powder form and they all work great so what antioxidant does to our skin to our formulations it help our, it, it help to expand the shelf life of our formulation so if you are making any uh, if you are making any product that has to contain water and oil so it's always good to add vitamin e oil or vitamin e powder to it so that it will help to expand the shelf life of your product so we, you can use any essential oil of your choice so i'm using a uh, lavender essential oil and i'm also using vanilla fragrance oil so you can use any essential oil of your choice depending on what you are formulating depending on your skin type depending on uh like we have so many type of essential oil on, in the market so you just have to choose the one that suits your skin and um, you are good to go so you also need glycerin this is our humentant we have so many humentants in the market you can use any humentant you can use propylene glycol you can use glycerin you can use uh, propanadol any one that you want to do, uh, use so this help to uh, lock in moisture to our skin for those of you that have dry skin it will help to lock in moisture on your skin and i'm using um glycerin i also have propylene glycol but i just want to stick to one so you can use both of them together just take a little percentage and take a little percentage of this and you can use both of them together and also you will need your glass jar make sure your container or your jar whatever you want to use is properly washed with hot water and make sure to spray with alcohol so i have sprayed all my working tools both my container everything so guys and also you need your um kitchen thermometer because if you're formulating any body lotion you have to formulate it using the 
it must be out here yeah, you cannot formulate you cannot make any body lotion using cold water or cold oils you can never do that because they are not really going to combine well so you have to use your hot water and your hot oils we're going to use if you're going to double boil it if you're going to do the double boiling method make sure that you get the right percentage and every lotion have 140 degree percentage so you must make sure that your formula your hot water your water um, your water phase is up to 140 and your oils phase is up to 140 so both of them must be 140 so that they can really combine properly so you will need your spatula or oh, spatula what is this called so you will need your spoon to mix you will need your spoon to turn and we also have other little spoons to use also and make sure they are all well cleaned and um, the things that you'll be using to make your body lotion your product make sure you don't use it to eat in your house so like these are um, my cups my my cups here my my spoons here they are kept in a different place where i normally use it to make my formulation and after you finish make sure to wash everything properly so i believe that you all get me clearly so what you need you need your mixer you need your glycerin you need your oils you need your distilled water you need your alcohol to spray you need your emulsifying wax the basic thing is your emulsifying wax and your oils that is what you need and you need your powders your other oils and your essential oils so these are the things that you will be needing to make your own product so guys let's continue mixing so the first thing that we are going to be doing we are going to double boil our oil and our water but we are going to add in other things to we are going to add in the uh, water phase into our water and we are also going to add in the oil phase into our oils so guys what i will be doing is to this is our uh, steric acid and emulsifying wax and this is our oil phase you must add this into your oil phase so yeah i already have my um orange oil so now i'm going to add in my uh steric acid and my emulsifying wax so i'm going to leave the measurements below my description box go and check it out all measurements are there And now we are going to add in our coconut oil and also our shea butter. So keep this outside. So the next thing that we are going to be doing, so this is our oil phase. It's fully prepared. We have the waxes and the shea and the oils. So we have to keep it outside. So now we have the um water phase so what we are going to be doing guys first you have to add in your um what is it called sorry guys you have to add in your ale anton powder so the next thing that we'll be adding is your nasina med powder these are the water phase and the next thing that we'll be adding is our gigawatt powder these are the water phase so you can decide to add this later on but you can also decide to add it now so this is it guys so the next thing that we are going to do guys we are going to dissolve our oil phase and also our water phase we are going to do the double boiling method and i'm going to show you how to do the double boiling method but before then i'm going to add my glycerin you can add your glycerin to the um, to the uh, water phase when you want to start your formulations you can also add it when you are done add, uh, making your formulation so i'm going to add in my glycerin So guys now i'm going to do the double boiling method and i'm going to show you 
how to do the double body makeup so i'm going to show you every part of this video because it's a beginner video for most people that want to go into uh, formulating body lotion so i'm showing you step by step how you're going to formulate your body lotion so here is my oil face and here is my water face so now i'm going to double boil so this is how you do the double boiling method you put your pan or your pot on top of your gas cooker and you pour in water inside your pot then you add in you can see there's water inside so you put your oil phase inside and you have to put your water phase inside so you allow it so you have to always come and use your uh, thermometer and uh, thermometer stick to to always yeah you have to come to check the temperature always you have to always check the temperature and once you get to 140 degree then you bring it out and start mixing okay so guys we are back we have dissolved our oil phase and also we have dissolved our water phase and i'll be adding my organic msm powder so this helps to brighten up your skin so most of the powders that i'm adding here they are skin bright now so these, these are not skin light now like really light they are skin bright now because this is a basic lotion for beginners for all skin type if you are dark or if you are light so i will be adding my msm powder So the reason why I did not add my MSN powder at the beginning because I wouldn't want to kill the potent of my MSN powder. So I'm going to add a little bit of my goat milk to this. Goat milk helps to exfoliate your skin, brighten up your skin because goat milk contains lactic acid. So it helps to lighten, brighten and clear out spots and um, acne from our skin. So, so this is what we are going to do next so i'm going to mix in my oil first my water first because of the goat milk that i added into it i'm going to mix it. So now it's time to add in our oil phase into our water phase so this is the magic here this is the lotion when they said lotion is water and oil so the reason why both of them are actually going to mix together is because of the wax that we used in this formulation if the wax is not here they can never be combined together so i'm just going to pour this here let me just pour this little by little. And we are going to mix. Oh god, I'm supposed to pour this into this place because I wanted to use Dix. Yeah, I wanted to use this, but Let's clap. So you have to use your hand mixer to mix it together, both so that the oils and the was the wasses, the oils and the water can actually be combined together. <laughs> So I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable using this. I actually want to use the other one. So I have to change it. Sorry guys. Okay. It's more beautiful here. So you have to come and give it a blend. So 
guys at the beginning do not be confused do not panic that is actually watery that is too much of water or is not thick at the beginning is going to come this way because the temperature is still very hot you can see it's it's like this is not thick so as the temperature drops the cream is going to be thick it's going to be thick like even more thicker that you are expect you were expecting you know so at the beginning it's going to come like this you see it's just water because the temperature is still still very hot so all you have to do is to this and you allow it to cool down So some people they cannot allow they cannot wait they are not patient they always take this and drop it inside the refrigerator for it to cool down but me I like to take my time so I'm going to allow mine to cool down naturally so before you are going to add other things inside you must allow this to cool down to 40 degrees before you can even add your preservative your essential oils because if you add your preservative now that it is still very hot your preservative is not going to be effective because the hotness of this your body lotion has killed the potency of your preservative so you must add in your preservative when your formulation is already 40 degree low so that is when you can add your preservative and your vitamin e oil sorry guys your vitamin e powder or even either the oil you don't need to add it when it is still very hot you have to wait when your formulations are cooled to 40 degree you add your vitamin e oil you add your preservative you add your essential oils if you have other cool down phase that you want to add to it you can add it when the temperature is 40 degree so guys be patient and i'm going to bring you back when our formulation is 40 degree okay guys our cream is becoming thick you can see it from here that our cream is becoming thick you see so i have to take the temperature of our cream now before we can add other things so what you do you just have to on it yeah, you just have to on it and place it inside your formulation so we'll be testing the temperature okay we have 53 we have 53 degrees so what we are going to do we just have to give it a blend a little bit then we can add our cool down phase so you can see the cream is becoming thick already So guys, the next thing that we'll be doing, we are going to add in our vitamin E. So this is the best time to add in your vitamin E. So you just pour in your vitamin E. And you come and mix it again. <laughs> So we are still going to wait when our formulation is up to 40 then we can add in the preservative so guys now we are going to add in our preservative and it has been measured out so this is a phenoxanthamol preservative and you are supposed to use it in one percent yeah guys you're supposed to use your preservative in one percent do not exceed one percent and you must not add in your preservative when your lotion is still very hot so now we have 
uh, on this is a uh, 1000 mil yeah guys this is 1000 mil and this is 10 mil yeah guys this is 10 mil of uh, 1000 mil which is 10 percent so now i'm going to add this into a frame we're going to scope everything out so i'm going to use my hand mixer to mix it very well so i changed my hand mixer so if you have another hand mixer you can also use something like this so this is what i'm using now i changed the other one so now we are just going to mix very well mm. see that our cream is becoming so so thick and the next thing that you are going to add is your essential oil and i'll be adding my lavender so i'm going to add in drop one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen twenty eighteen nineteen twenty you have to add your essential oil in drops. 20 drop is okay. Give it a good mix. So I will be adding in my uh, vanilla also. And I'm going to add in some drops. Okay, so guys, this is it. So I'm going to give it a mix one more time, then before we can take the pH of our lotion. see how beautiful and thick is coming and now we have to take the ph balance of our products so what you do you take this and you dip it inside so like i said guys we got the right ph this is five you can see this this is five so there's nothing to do you don't have to add anything ash this is normal ph for your skin this is the exact ph that your skin have this is five here so we got the right ph guys so the next thing that we are going to do is to transfer this into our little beautiful Ta so our cream is ready it's ready so it's better to pour in your cream when your cream is still is still light because when your cream is fully thick it will be very very difficult to add in your cream into your jar container so i'm going to slowly pour this in We're slowly pouring this in and okay So guys, our cream is ready and um, just going to pour this to the top and 
We are done. So guys, this is <clears throat> our basic body lotion for anybody, for kids, for black, for light skin, for any type of skin, dry skin and oily skin. I hope you love this video. Make sure to ask me any question if you don't know, if you forgot anything or if you don't know what I did. Ask me any question in the comment section below and I'm going to reply back. So if you have any bubbles on top of your cream, what you do, you just have to take your alcohol and spray it like this to prevent any bubbles. Because if you have any bubbles, your, your cream is going to start contaminating from that bubbles. You're going to start having um, bacterias from that bubble. So you have to spray the top with your alcohol to prevent any bacteria from growing, any mold from growing from your lotion. So guys, I hope you love my work. I hope you understand how to make a basic body lotion. If you still don't understand, still ask me. If you still want me to make this formulation again in the future, I'm still going to make it again in the future so that you all will understand better. If you want to start selling, you want to start making products to sell, so these are the procedures you have to use when making your lotion. Make sure your working area is very, very clean. Yeah, one thing, it has to be clean. So guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share this video with your friends. Leave your comment below and um, see you soon in my other next video. Bye-bye.